There is so much I want to say to you, but let's face it, I can't say it in words. I can't pick up the phone and call you and tell you this. I can't text it to you. I can't even post it explicitly on social media. But it's bursting forth through me. It's washing over me like a tsunami wave. And I need you to know this. So I'm dropping clues, hints, breadcrumbs, hoping you'll see, which of course you will because we are eternally connected, hoping you'll understand because of course you will, how could you not when we are the only two souls on this planet on the same wavelength, existing here together alone and yet so physically far apart. That is a message I felt coming through very strongly from someone's twin flame to them. I don't know who needed to hear that and like I say with so many of these videos, it could be just one person who needed that message. But if it was for you, you would know because as I was reading that, if it was your message, it'll cause you to feel a very emotional and even physical response. You may have felt goosebumps. You may have felt a tingling somewhere in your body. You may have felt a wave of emotion wash over you very intensely. And that was your sign that that message was for you. In this video, I want to talk about those breadcrumbs, those clues I mentioned in this message and specifically how they come through on social media. Because I feel intuitively that many of you are having this experience of feeling like you are either observing or watching your twin flame through social media or that they are observing or watching you and that as a result of this either seemingly one-sided or mutual social media observation of one another you feel your intuition telling you from time to time that something they are posting or doing on social media is directed at you. I just thought of subtweeting. For those of you who use Twitter, I don't personally use it, but I hear the expression of subtweeting used a lot. You may feel as though your twin flame is referencing you or trying to send a signal or a message to you. And yet the confusing thing about this is sometimes these messages are very subtle. They may not be related to love and romance at all. It could be a seemingly random picture that your twin flame posts, a joke that they post, an update on their life that seems perfectly innocent and not love related at all. And yet when you read this post or saw this picture, you had this gut reaction, this intuitive reaction that told you this was actually created for you, directed at you for some purpose. And of course, this will make you feel as though you're going a little bit crazy because if you were to try to explain it to anyone, they would tell you you were out of your mind. If your twin flame posted a song lyric, a romantic song lyric, and you had just gone on a romantic date with them, then yes, of course, this is an obvious message to you, an obvious connection, but I feel that for those of you I'm speaking to, it's not like that. It's not that obvious. It may be a song lyric or it may be a song that they post, but if they do, there is no clear connection to you. It's not like they just had a romantic conversation with you or you just went on a romantic date. You may even be in some kind of period of separation, which causes it to be even more confusing. And 
And I'm being guided to tell you that if you are having this experience of observing your twin flames social media and seeing these posts or pictures, whatever it may be, and one of them is just really speaking to you, or you feel as though your twin flame is intentionally posting. <laughs> See, even when I say it, it's it my own ego starts to step in and say, that's impossible because this concept really is delicate. It really does come up hard against the ego. The ego really wants to fight this and society, societal's norms really want to fight this concept that even the idea, the idea, for example, that if you're thinking about someone, they must be thinking about you. That idea is really made fun of as being complete pseudoscience. And yes, I do think there are plenty of cases where you could be thinking a lot about someone, a celebrity, whatever it may be, and they may not necessarily be thinking of you. But there are many cases where when these obsessive thoughts or feelings about a person surface energetically within us into our subconscious mind, they get picked up by the conscious mind and manifest in the forms of thoughts and feelings about this person. And then we hear people making fun of this idea that just because you're thinking of someone doesn't mean they're thinking of you. But the truth is, very often, there actually is a lot of truth to this old statement because like I said, whenever someone is radiating thought, emotion, energy toward us in the form of thinking about us, daydreaming about us, falling in love with us, we can subconsciously pick up on this energetic signal and interpret it as thoughts about them causing us to think we are the originator of these thoughts, we are thinking of them, when really they have been the ones thinking of us. Now when it comes to Twin Flames, I'm saying all of this because I feel that one of you may have even come across this quote, this, when you're thinking of them, they must be thinking of you too, and you're rolling this around in your head, going back and forth between your ego and your intuition. Is this true? Is this not true? When I think of my twin flames so frequently, when I see them through social media, when I see these posts that seem directed at me, are they really thinking about me too or is that all in my head? This is your sign, your affirmation that you aren't going crazy. If you were guided to this video, I don't believe there are any coincidences in our universe. We are led to people, to others, to experiences and even to pieces of information just like this video precisely at the times we are aligned with and need to meet with that person or that piece of information we are all energetically connected which is why you are intuitively capable of receiving these energetic messages from your twin flame through their social media accounts in fact, everything between twin flames takes place energetically. The energy must shift beneath the surface before it manifests in the external world. And in fact, this is true of anything we want to manifest in our lives, both inside and outside the twin flame connection. This is also why I am so passionate about subliminal affirmations tracks. Because in order to shift our energy, we must address where the majority of our thoughts are stored. You see, the majority, in fact, 95% of our thoughts are actually unconscious. And if, by the law of attraction, the thoughts we emanate cause our energy to attract or repel things to or from us, this means that we truly must address those 95% of our unconscious thoughts because by doing this, we can very quickly alter that 95% of our energy and radically change anything in our lives. I've seen this in my own life because I tried using the law of attraction and specifically meditation techniques for years but saw absolutely no results until I started incorporating subliminals. Within just a few weeks of listening to subliminals, when I tell you my life 
began to completely change. I ended up getting my dream job, quitting a job I'd had for over a year that I absolutely hated. I built levels of confidence I never knew I had within me. I ultimately attracted my twin flame and am now in union. And I truly believe the reason I was able to fast track the manifestation of all of these things in my life was because of meditating with subliminals. So I became so passionate about them, I actually started to create them myself. And this is how my website, Sound and Soulful, was born. What you're looking at on the screen is a library of over 100 subliminals I've created for all areas of life. I have subliminals for physical body changes, for mood shifts like confidence and happiness, for the manifestation of specific material things like money, a dream job, a dream house. But when it comes to twin flames, I specifically have an entire section of subliminals dedicated just for you to help you shift the balance of your twin flame connection. I would most highly recommend my seven chakra twin flame clearing subliminal designed to uproot and clear away any negative subconscious blockages between you and your twin flame. More information about this seven chakra clearing subliminal is in the pinned comment and the description box of this video. Now, I want to talk about specific types of messages you may be receiving from your twin flame through social media and what these messages may mean. If you feel as though your twin flame is posting some kind of a status on Facebook, I heard for some of you, this may just be literally one person, but I heard that your twin flame is in the food industry, either a cook or a chef or a, a server doing something in the restaurant industry and they posted some kind of a life update recently. This is literally probably just for a single person, but someone listening needs to know that this person has been communicating with you through their life updates and you may be in some kind of separation. I'm getting that you aren't entirely blocked from one another, but that there's this distance, an emotional distance or perceived distance between you. But this person is posting these status updates because they want to keep you informed on their life. And I heard oddly that they want to make you proud. And what I get with that is they want you to know that they are making progress in their life, that they are healing, that they are doing the work. And now this goes for anyone who sees status updates or their twin flame sharing some kind of a positive life update and you get the sense that this is somehow directed at you. Sometimes this is your twin flame's way of communicating to you that they are healing, that they are moving forward, that they are shifting the balance of their life, that things are changing in a positive direction. And I, I just, I'm sorry, I just got very clearly in my head, wait for me. I don't know who needs to hear this, but someone's twin flame is coming through very strong, wanting to say, wait for me, please. Wait for me because I know that there is a distance between us. I know that I've not been very open about my feelings, that I've been distant, but I'm sharing these positive updates because I want you to know I am moving forward. I am healing. I am growing. And when I look at the other side of my life, once I have healed, once I have grown, I always see you with me in it and I can only see you there in my future. Again, these messages that come through really could just be for a single person or a few people, but I know at least one of you really needed to hear that. Now, if you are seeing pictures of your twin flame, I just smiled a little bit because I got that your twin flame, someone's twin flame, does this thing where they kind of half smile at you or they're kind of holding back their smile but it's still kind of creeping up their face. You know what I'm talking about if this is for you. And I'm getting goosebumps because this is one of the most endearing things you find about them. And 
they are trying to repress these feelings of ecstasy that they have around you of joy because of whatever physical circumstances. But whenever they post this smiling picture, in a sense, that's them trying to share this smile with you, share this warm, endearing moment that you sometimes share in one another's physical presence. I just, I heard the phrase looking at you that they just, it's, it's a strange message. It's like they long to look at you. And so they post a picture of themselves because they want you to see them and through this virtual shared moment to feel as though you are gazing upon one another, even from very far away through this platform, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is. For those of you who are seeing a post from your twin flame that has synchronicity surrounding it. These are, I feel guided to say this because I think that some of you are seeing a lot of number synchronicities around your twin flames profile. A lot of 444, 222, 1111, 1144 is coming through very strong for at least one of you. 1122 also. And all of these repeating numbers this is actually your twin flame's higher self communicating with you through social media. So it's unlikely your twin flame is actually doing this consciously. They may not even be aware of what angel numbers or repeating numbers are in the whole spiritual community. But their higher self knows because remember we, we exist on many different layers energetically. In the 3D, we live our lives, we go to work, go to school, whatever it may be, we eat, we sleep, we enjoy this physical world. But we are simultaneously existing in the fifth dimension. And in this fifth dimension, time and space don't exist. And in this fifth dimension, you, your existence in this fifth dimension could be called your higher self. Now, sometimes you do rise to this fifth dimension when you raise your vibration and you merge with this higher self and become one with it, normally in glimpses or flashes temporarily before being drawn back into the 3D world. Your twin flame also has a version of themselves, a layer of themselves existing always in the 5D, you could call their higher self. And because you and your twin flame share an identical core frequency, your fifth dimensional selves, your higher selves, are always in communication. Now, one way your higher selves may give messages to the opposing 3D self, meaning your higher self may give messages to your twin flame's 3D self, and your twin flame's higher self may give, give messages to you in your 3D reality. So one way this often comes through is through these number synchronicities. Many times this can be a way of our higher selves communicating either a message, a message of trust, of belief, of hope. But most often this message is simply a kind of energetic love letter, a symbol of love, of warmth, a little signpost for you along this winding, journey that we're taking within this twin flame connection just reminding you that the love always prevails that it's always there even if the physical circumstances are chaotic confusing and uncertain thank you so much for joining me here in this podcast and not only for listening but also for co-creating this information i always say this but it is true that you all being here with me on this YouTube platform are actually manifesting these videos, this information along with me, simply through your energetic presence here, wherever you are in the world. And I am so grateful for this beautiful soul tribe we're building here together. So if I did resonate with you, please subscribe to this channel, join our community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again in the next podcast.